What's up? This is Philip Ellis, and I'm going to show you the six-stroke roll. Uh, first, I'm just going to show you some examples of how I'm going to play it around the drum set. Then we'll get to the meat of the video, where I show you how you can actually play this. So, here we go. Six stroke roll. Six stroke roll is awesome. This is all that it is. It's a rudiment. Um, I always used to play it the wrong way and then I found out how to play it the right way and my life changed instantly. So this is how you play it the wrong way. Okay, so don't do this. It's it's uh, two eighth notes followed by two diddles. So do not do it that way. That's the wrong way and it's boring and that's the way I used to always do it. The correct way to do it is to accent the first note and you split up the, the eighth note. So the first one is an eighth note accented and then uh, diddle on the left hand and then yeah so accent first note diddle diddle accent and that's six strokes right there one two three Four, five, six. That's six strokes, but then you always accent the down stroke, so or the first stroke. So it's going to sound like this if you do it in repetition. So that's the way it's supposed to sound. Uh, it's a way more interesting thing than going boring, okay? So don't do that. So the correct way, accent, diddle, diddle, accent, accent, diddle, diddle, accent, accent, diddle, diddle, accent, accent. So, so that's how it is, uh, you know, practice it really slow. Work your speed up. And then you can add in different things like a tom or two toms or cymbals. So a, a really cool feel that I use all the time is just a six stroke roll with a tom hit at the end. So it's... So that's all it is. So I actually did it in the Taylor Swift drum cover video of her song Trouble that is on my YouTube page and you can click this link right here to check it out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you what I did right there. It's just a simple 16th note build and then I did a, a six stroke roll with some eighth notes followed. So it goes like this. So that first part of it. The last things I want to show you is, you know, add the, the accents, put them on the toms. thing just add the symbols you know every time you accent add the symbols and add your kick drum this is a little bit harder because you gotta work on having your kick drum accent the same thing as your hands so and I don't do that one very well but maybe you can uh, practice that and get better at it